I'm Natasha and I want a new pixie cut. A it's pixie cut for you? Yes, it's okay. really long. Yeah, it's moment. grown back a lot <laughs> for a long uh, time, uh, three months. Yes. Will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now? Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. Gonna do her hair and she wants a pixie hairstyle so that's what I'm gonna make. And it's terribly long in the neckline. <laughs> and she wants uh, nice purple tones in some different shades. And green and blue. And green and blue. <laughs> Whatever. All kind of colors. But first of course I start with cutting and there I need some protection for the falling hairs. Now I make the hair some wet so you can see what it does and it's always nicer to work. We don't wash it in front because we're going to light it up a little bit otherwise I can make all the colors in it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate from the center here, make it a little short, let it flow up. Make it short on the sides but playable short, I don't make hard lines in it. The rest on the back will be ultra short and connected to the upper hair and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, what I told you was I would start on this crown area. There I make a twist and that I cut off. It's my first baseline. That I give the rounding that it needs. And now from the rounding I'm going to cut the hair in the line the way I want her hair to be falling afterwards. So I just follow the guideline and circle around on top of her head. Lay the hair back, again go to the front, connect my first line, and this is the second line I'm just cutting, because first I had center here, so my first line was laying here, and the second line is laying here, and then I come to the sides. Er valt nog best veel haar vanaf. Dat is dit. Kom naar de lijn. Dat is close to the face. Holding some length. I don't want ultra short on her right side. in from that. Now I'm going to work at the front to create myself a kind of fringe. First set out the first line and then take all the hairs to that same line. This is the same way I take this hair up, it's the same line as I have the chin line that I copy into her hairstyle. And now I'm certain that I kept some length on top. And I'm bending all the hairs in the fall of the hair and the way I want the hair afterwards to fall on her head because all the hairs have to get this motion, this movement to get a wonderful haircut. And it's a lot of hair she has. So thin it out. Yeah, not a whole Yeah. 
Dat is ook wel een nadeel hoor. Zeker. Take all the hairs back over the line. I just cut and control them. Hold the lines soft on the facial lines. I lay in, in the underlines a thinning technique. I have a new scissor of Kione. And the wonderful thing about this scissor is you don't see where it's cutting. And it's wonderful to thin out hair with. Just play with the style I'm going to make. Yeah. Now you see it's a lot nicer to watch because now it's not that thick layer that's laid in the front because it's uh, the front is the heaviest. On the sides I use the same scissor. Leuk dat je hem uit mag proberen. Ja, zeker. Make the sides wonderful playable. And ultra soft. So you get ultra soft lines. Over the rounding of the skull, I put a scissor in to hold it length. But also the same movement as I have on the front. And be aware of the crown area, because in this rounding I work. Lay the hair to the back. Make a nice side beard. Find first, create me a guide where I can work through. Lay the hair to the front. And just with the tip of my scissor. Create a softness into the line. Lifting the hairs up with my scissor. Catch them with my comb. And clean the line around the ear. Ik vind dat het uh, knipgeluid. Ja, mooi geluid. Vorige keer had ik, een, uh, had ik die shaver. Ja. Die is minder fijn. Ja, dat maakt meer herrie. Ja. Ik vind knip ook wel mooi, hè? Create some softness in the contour line. Ik vind het ook lekker rustig altijd met de gewoon met de schaar werken. Ja, precies. Je hebt de meer zachtere lijnen, hè? Absoluut. We talk about the sound of the scissors. The scissors always give a nice round feeling. It's, it, it's not so irritating as a clipper. And mostly the haircuts you do with a scissor are also a little bit softer than you do with a clipper. Lay there again in the rounding, behind the ear. Come in the opposite lines. And clean them. And now I've got myself a nice short side. I only have to clean the rounding around the ear. Pulling the ear down. And just with the tip of my scissor, clean the rounding. Heb je ooit in de oor geklipt of niet? Nee. Dat is niet van plan. Nee, dat hoop ik ook niet. Dat nee, gebeurt ook eigenlijk wel. nooit. Now I'm gonna work on the skull bone. So I lay the hairs to the side. I can still see the skull bone. Put my scissor in. And first make myself a guideline. I just roughly take off some hair. Is dit toch genoeg? Ja. Yeah. The neckline will be ultra short. 
going to search for a connection to the part in front of the ear and work all my lines in the line of falling of the hair. So I go up and travel out. Go up, travel out. Now I'm on the connection of the front and the back. Here you see that the hairs fall in the underlines to the back. The same eye travels this way, but the upper hair falls a little bit more flat down. So I have to bend them a little bit into the style I want to make. So I'm just pushing with my comb in the line of cutting. Going to the center, stay on, on the skull bone, first take off some hairs, and then I travel up. I love the practice also of uh, doing scissor overcome techniques. Give a slice technique on the connection of the upper hair to the neckline and just an ultra small one and just make slight circles to create some fall into the hair so you get little thangs that stick out to that side. Always be aware of the roundings and the way the hair flows because hair flows in lines and I mostly travel in the opposite lines of that. Yeah, I see how wonderful short and soft this line is. And the pixie will have wonderful styling afterwards because you can make it ultra playable on top. Clean the neck from some hairs. Go to the side. Part the upper hair. Lay it aside. I want the ear to be free. Wet it in between. Lift her up. And now I'm holding some length because this has more length. Just the part above the ear, I do scissor overcome. Same as it on the other side, I stay in the roundings and work it nicely out. Use some slice techniques on the layer above it and make a nice soft facial line. Put the side beard to the back, go in just with the tip of my scissor make a perfect rounding around the ear. Lay it to the front and correct the line and guide with your fingers the scissor. Come to the back, connect this also. Now I'm coming at the part where I connect the front again to the back. Go into an angle of 45 degrees Work it up, leave a little bit length on the upper layers and the upper lines. Dat is wel gaaf dat je allerlei van dit soort kleine documentjes van jezelf hebt. Hè? Ja, eigenlijk wel. <laughs> Hoeveel mensen hebben dat? Niet veel volgens mij. Nee, en de foto's en alles, dat is ook super leuk. Ja, precies. Come to the part that's the most heaviest. This part I take in parts to the back. And with my feather knife, I feather the lines out so I get ultra soft connection lines. Start behind the ear. Every time take about one and a half centimeters. And make sure the lines 
are on the line of the contour line. Thin it out also a little bit. So holding my knife flat on the hair. And work till there is no hair to be working on on this side in the length of course of cutting otherwise you would be bold and I see that's the same as me <laughs> I have wonderful wigs so there's no problem about that but she wants to hold on to her own hair I'm that's certain right. of that yeah that's right that's right now I created myself a soft line now go in again and only with the tip of my knife I take away some small parts so I get a little bit more playability in it and also that it don't look thick hmm. on the rounding of the skull. And the hair is now wonderful playable, it's nice to style. Fine. Yeah, absolutely. I see the girl more eyes. The nice thing about this hairstyle is also that it's not um, looking ultra uh, fresh cut, so it is also looking soft and that's nice. Coming to clean the contour line, hold the comb in the line where I want to go. And this I do with my small clipper because it makes life a lot easier as a hairdresser when you do this with a small clipper. Stay working in the lines of the contour. She has a wonderful contour line. Clean the neck from small hairs. And do this on both sides of course. So leaning with the comb. Leaning with the comb against the hairs. Holding it on the line. I can clean it. I take off all the small and hairs I don't want. And now I'm going to make a bleach. So I will bleach some parts of her hair. And that will bring into colors. So I get a very ultra playable hairstyle in a pixie style. But that I'll show you when I'm working on it. Okay, I made myself uh, a little bleach. Now I'm going to bleach some parts of the hair. And with use of foil and that afterwards I lay into different shades of colors. Take my first part about a centimeter. I will use uh, plastic foils to work with. And lay them just in the line of the hair. What I use is a gold well bleach. I use it with 9% as sturdy volume and of course as always a deep conditioner in it. And I make of every color a package. So I put a foil on the front and the back. So I know that it stays where I want it. And I can easily get the under foil off, watch through the, the foil and be sure that there is on the other side also enough bleach. Lay the foil back and stay away about a uh, half centimeter from the skin. So now I have all the foils on. I'll show you a little bit of it. So I have all the foils in a, in a circle around the head, covered between two foils. So now I'll wait till it's lightened up a bit. It don't have to be ultra light, but there will be the new colors in. Okay, we're back. So I took the fo foils out. And now I'm going to work in the opposite lines, so we'll create some color in it. And what I made is uh, a blue color, a green color and a purple color. The blue is uh, 070, it's of Lac May. Set in the back. Take the hairs 
back so I can lay them on the foil. And it, now it's not important that the hairs between it are not uh, parted because uh, they have always a, a darker color. So this I work on my foil. This one is the blue. Put on a foil. Just to part the hairs from each other. Come in with a purple. Purple is uh, 522 plus, also of Lakme. It's a wonderful color because it's a plus color. In this part it's going to be green. And our green is a polar yellow. It's also from Lakme with a little bit uh, 070 because there is no real green tone available in colors because then you get an ice tone and you don't want an ice tone in it and this I apply on a hair over and over parting with foils then we kind of heat it up for 20 minutes and we'll be back after that rinsing out and you show the end result so now all the colors are into the foils now I have to wait for 20 minutes and then we're back to show you the end result Yes. Hello, we're back and now she has a lot of colors in her hair. She has a blue, she has a purple and she has a nice green tone in it. Color blow dry it. I will use a foam of cold oil. Oh, maybe so I can wel weer iets van lansen. Ik krijg je dadelijk. I will use the medium brush of Lanza. <laughs> <laughs> Het is wel echt net een, uh, een olievlekje. Ja? ja? Dat was het bedoeld volgens mij. Ja. Het looks a little bit like uh, the colors you have on an oil. An oil is on the water. And that was uh, the intention to do. Always nice when it's uh, the mind and the things come together. Something Hannibal always told from the 18. It's nice when the plan comes together. <laughs> you now I just roughen it up a little bit with uh, my fingers so it gets a little bit more power into the hair. Also with your hands you better feel what spots are still a little bit wet. What I use now is uh, a crystal turn of gold oil. It's gel wax. It's good. Yeah. But that's what product is always good. Yeah, from gold oil, so. And Lanza. Yeah, Lanza. 
I love to work with products of Lanza and of Coldwell because they always smell ultra delicious. I'll bring out some colors uh, so you can see all the colors in this frame of coloring. Need a little bit of hairspray. <laughs> Sorry, Poes is so. I'm here now a cat. Poes. And this is the new cut pixie hairstyle with trendy colors. And I think it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, my love, you may show it to the world. What it became. Nice, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being well. Yeah.